I'm Jana Fietze. I'm a researcher at Educational Sciences here at Erasmus University Rotterdam. My role so far has been to coordinate the mentoring program here at Erasmus. So that means that in our um, pedagogical science program, I was responsible to match mentors and mentees and to overlook the full process of uh, a full year of them interacting with each other and all the activities and developing the materials and the activities for those as well. Yeah, so the mentoring program here at Erasmus University was set up um, mostly for students of pedagogical sciences and there we had mentors of the second year who were uh, attached or connected to students who just started at university, so first year students. And the goal of it was to have students who are really new on campus, who still have to figure everything out, how do I learn, where do I go, what do I do, where am I, um, that they have one more person in this um, moment, the mentor, who can guide them a little, but also by including some uh, of our specific I belong activities, someone who really shows them, um, don't doubt yourself, you are right uh, where you are, this is fine, you uh, belong here, um, everyone struggles in the beginning, you're not alone, and uh, we find that, I find that very valuable. Um, and we've seen specifically with students who are the first ones in their family to go to university, so we call them first generation students, or students where the parents have grown up in a different country, so we call it migration background um, students, that, that for them usually the start is a bit more difficult because they have the feeling, I don't know, I, I have n not another resource, I cannot ask my parents how they did uh, here at this university. None of my parents have studied at Erasmus. Uh, or uh, maybe no other family member has been in higher education. Where do I go? What do I do? What is expected of me? So and in that sense, it can really help to provide a mentor. So someone who has just at least gone through the first year and can say, OK, I can at least tell you where to go, uh, what to do, uh, what to expect, um, where to find resources, and so on. So I grew up in different countries. I grew up in Japan and in Austria and in Germany. So uh, I myself have always had the feeling like belonging is a really important part of uh, to kind of have a feeling that you're not in the wrong place at the wrong time. And for me, belonging meant then belonging to my family or belonging to um, certain groups of friends or so. And that's how I realized that's also why I do my research about this, um, that belonging can you can feel like you belong to different places, different groups, um, but you have to have the chance to be part of something because otherwise if you're just fighting everything alone it can get really difficult. So, and that's why I think belonging is um, something that, yeah, also university can offer and this is why this program is really nice because it offers one more opportunity for you to feel like you're part, or for students to feel like they're part of a group that accepts them and values them and uh, yeah, is inclusive. We have seen over a couple of years or in, th in some research that certain groups of students um, enter university and have the feeling like they're the only ones here or they have the feeling um, that they don't know where to go, what to do, uh, maybe they don't see other students or staff that look like them or that have a similar background. So that makes the overall study experience even more difficult. And this program is geared to make it a bit more easy uh, for these students, especially the start into higher education, to really feel like they're at the right spot at university. How the mentored program tries to contribute to the sense of belonging of the students mm -hmm. is that we provide um, more opportunities to see uh, s people that are like you. So the idea is that you really have the feeling, um, uh, well, what we hear often from first year students is somehow all the others seem to have figured it out, they know what they're doing. And I'm, I seem to be the only one who is completely lost or who doesn't, or who's doing 
bad in like in grades or so somehow um, most of our students share this experience and it doesn't matter if they have good grades or bad grades they all have the feeling everyone else knows what they're doing but I'm the only one who doesn't and in that sense it really helps to create a small the mentoring group or the connection with a mentor or other mentees um, to really feel oh there's others like me so I do belong here I'm not the only one and this is how we try with the mentoring program to connect um, the students. What I've seen in the teaching that I'm doing is that um, as soon as students feel um, included or feel like they are being heard, that is the moment where a full classroom can really start uh, to well, work as a team or to uh, value each other and that really um, I always try to do exercises in the beginning where everybody gets to know each other and um, I can really see how the atmosphere changes but also how as soon as students are comfortable with their environment, with the learning environment, they really show their full potential. They can actually contribute something, they don't feel um, too shy to say, to speak up or to, to um, say what they're thinking and I find that a huge um, benefit of creating an inclusive environment in education. We do know that um, if you are, an, um, for example, for students who have other responsibilities outside of the university, so students who are f working uh, next to university or who have responsibilities at home or who are the first ones to study, for example, that for them um, it's very easy to just see the university as something that needs to be done but actually by involving them more in the social uh, part that can really improve their motivation to study and also the motivation to continue studying and not to drop out. So um, you do see a connection between yeah, not feeling like you belong and um, having the feeling that you might want to do something else than studying because it's maybe not for you. And that's how we actually miss out on a lot of potential. So we, as a university, we miss out on a lot of great students because we don't manage to get them really connected from the very beginning. The feedback we got from mentees so far um, has been really positive, luckily. Um, and mostly it wasn't so much that they um, needed specific information on, you know, where do I find the library, sorry, because that's information you usually gather somewhere else but it was mainly that they um, had the feeling that they knew at least one more person they could contact. So if things got difficult now during uh, the corona times, everyone is at home, everyone is isolated, so it was really helpful to have one more contact, one more uh, email address, one more phone number of a mentor to really reach out and say, okay, I'm struggling with this, or to have someone check in with you regularly, someone ask once a month, hey, how are you doing, is everything fine, can I help you? And that seemed to really help to feel, okay, there's someone looking out for me, I'm not completely alone in this experience.